When we started Lincoln Center, uh, the redesign of Lincoln Center almost 10 years ago, um, it's a daunting project. Where to begin? You know, what, what, what can we touch of the master's work? I think we all felt that Lincoln Center has great DNA. How could we reinvent Lincoln Center without losing Lincoln Center? How can we make it more Lincoln Center than Lincoln Center? We have uh, approaches to, to our projects which seek to identify the problems and possibilities in the projects. Um, and if there aren't problems given to us by a client, we make the problems. Um, we've definitely scared a couple of clients uh, in meetings uh, telling them we're about to give them problems. Um, this is a, an approach that we take to all of our projects. We try to understand what is the real problem and how can we, how can we achieve it with a fairly, um, si within fairly simple acts and means. So this, this is a finished uh, model that we've done for Lincoln Center. This is 65th Street right here, including the extension of the Juilliard School, which is represented by this piece here, Alice Tully and its new lobby, uh, a new restaurant pavilion with the grass slope called Lincoln Ristorante, and underneath um, the collaboration that we had with David Rockwell uh, on the Film Center. We have a very young studio, which we love, um, not only because people are great looking when they're younger, but also because they have a lot of energy. It's not just the three partners or the principals in the, in the firm, it's, it's everyone who works here. We'll be here around the table tearing and gluing and spitting and taping and um, all of the things that we um, feel like we have to do to, to get ideas onto the table. We tossed off fairly quickly an idea about the veil for the competition, but we knew we had a great idea where, where there was thickness and light that gets modulated through almost a coral-like structure um, that is, that is three-dimensionally represented on the facades and the roof. When you're driving by, you'll actually be able to see through the honeycomb into the gallery, um, into the gallery space. Both the walls and the ceiling are made of the same system. These are details that we're obsessed about. These are the details that make this project special and unique. And we haven't quite figured it out and we're still working on it. Picking up on some of New York's great industrial past, this is a project on the west side of Manhattan, and using technology that is extant, um, in this case, we were thinking about gantry cranes. This is a very large shed structure that will move um, and unfold, pull itself out, and expand its footprint, more than triple its footprint size. New York City is an amazing place, a wonderful place to be practicing architecture. It's all about delivering new experiences to the people of New York. That's what good design is, bringing new experiences to people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis.